Hey guys, what's up? Argyle Alligator here, and today, uh, before we get started, I'm tackling the June DLC, the Tetsuya Nomura Final Fantasy DLC, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I probably butchered the hell out of his name, but he's the guy who does a lot of work on Final Fantasy for Square Enix, and they did a collaboration for this DLC in June. I know I'm a month ahead, or a month behind, rather. But I wanted to tackle this and just because I saw this armor and I didn't even know that it came out in June. And I was like, holy shit, I got to make it. So this is what the armor looks like. It's super cool and nothing else in Monster Hunter truly looks like it. The wings also move. They're physics based, which is really awesome. And on the armor pigments, when you change it, it actually changes the color of the stomach and inner arms. So you can look really cool or do whatever you want with it. I like to pick green because, you know, got to be Argyle Alligator. So that's that. But a couple things about this armor before we get started I want to tell you. It has no waist piece. There is no waist piece for this armor. So I am using the G-Rank Gormagala. I don't know why I just picked it. I guess because I thought it looked good. But that's what I'm using for it. And then the other interesting thing is this armor set has no slots at all. So if we go to the armor set here, there are no slots on any of these pieces of armor. Uh, they are all the Rage pieces is the uh, Final Fantasy... Tetsuya, Nomura, Armor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there are no slots, so that's to watch out for. But it has really good skills that I think are pretty good, at least. You've got Critical Eye, which um, increases your... Um, I'm trying to think now. I think it's your affinity by 15%. Uh, it increases your critical damage, more or less. Bounty Hunter, which means you get more rewards at the end of a quest. Weakness Exploit. Self-explanatory. If there's an elemental weakness, you'll exploit it and do more damage with this. And then I added on auto guard. And also check out those fucking resistances, dude. Seven fire, twelve water, uh, five thunder, ten ice. Like the resistances on this thing are high, except for dragon. Dragon is really low on this armor. I know the resistances are a little affected from my chaos faults, but um, they're pretty high. Um, and the dragon resistance is very low on, on this armor. I think it's 20 with just the four pieces. So you don't want to use this fighting anything with dragon, but you do want to use this fighting everything else, which is really cool. And um, I think this armor is pretty good if you compensate with a three slot waist and a three slot weapon and a talisman good enough, you'll be fine. So I think this armor is pretty solid. Not to mention it looks fucking baller. I love the look of this armor. It's so cool. I'm definitely going to use this for fights uh, that don't use dragon but are tough bitches, especially when it comes to, I think ice was the highest resistance I had, so this would be good to fight anything with that. Um, other than that, let's actually jump into the quest called the Twilight of the Gods, and I'll show you what the DLC fight is like. Uh, so let's jump into that right now. Hey guys, we're here now in the quest Twilight of the Gods, one of the DLC for June. I know it's a little late, but I wanted to show this off because it's actually a really cool quest and it can be really rewarding as well. So here you are in this arena, and basically what happens is we go into the arena and we're going to fight an Apex Diablos. Just a regular Diablos, not black, not Monoblos, just straight up Diablos. So here we are, here he is in the arena. What's really nice about this quest too is they give you a bunch of items, so you don't really have to use any of your items if you're clever enough with it. And this fight's pretty routine. It's not terrible. Uh, you might need Mind's Eye or the Drive Stone because this is fighting Apex. And when Apex goes into Frenzy Mode, uh, if you do not have the Drive Y Stone or, you know, I don't even think Mind's Eye works, um, your attacks will reflect unless you hit a really soft area. Uh, I think you have to have the Drive Y Stone to not have the Reflect. But, I mean, you can make do without it. It's not as bad as Apex Rajang, um, which I've definitely fought before without the Drive Y Stone, and that was a super pain in the ass. But this fight's kind of standard. It's pretty much just like Diablos on crack. Uh, Diablos is one of my trouble monsters, but, um, you know, fighting him with four people like this in this space is not that big a deal because you can kind of project his movements a lot easier uh, than you can out in the wild. I don't know why that is for me, but... It is. Oh, except for that one. Oh, shit. Get me out of here. Okay, he's not going for me. Somebody set a trap. Whoop. Alright, there's a trap down over... No, where's the trap? Did somebody set a trap? I don't know. But, uh, this fight is not really that bad. Uh, I would recommend trying to do it with four people if you can. 
because three people takes a long fucking time. And here we go. He is... Okay, I really wanted to go into charge mode, but sometimes it doesn't activate for me. He's going into frenzy mode, though, so I better get my drive stone out. Okay. Oh, God. No! Leave me alone! Oh, my God. I couldn't move. The recover from that roar was so long. Holy shit. All right. And then I will use these things they give me. All right, they've mounted him good. Gives me some time to heal up here. Use a little potion. And I've got my null berries that I will take for the curse because against, or the infection. Because against um, these apex monsters, you really don't want that infection. Like, really don't want it. They will fuck you up. Oh, God. Okay, I, I think he failed. He did. Shit. I'm not used to having uh, an armor without huge earplugs. But I will say this armor is pretty decent for resistances and has some pretty good skills on it. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Not to mention, it looks fucking so cool. I know I've already talked about this, but it's so cool looking. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, that guy fucked me. He knocked me into the way. Oh my god. Trying to not have this curse on me right now. Or in fact, why do I keep calling it curse? I mean the infection. Alright. Oh god, oh god. Alright. I'm gonna eat this null berry. Oh god. Not me! Run! Okay. Alright. So, even though this quest is totally doable, um, it can be a huge pain in the ass. Because Diablos is fucking Diablos. So. Alright. And now, since my Y stone's off, you're gonna see what I mean about reflect. Or if my teammates would stop fucking slamming me. Yeah, see, I'm just bouncing and getting hit by everyone. Okay, that didn't bounce. You know, I'm having a hard time showing anything right now because these these guys are just whacking the shit out of me. Oh god. Ooh. Okay. Not used to armor without speed eating either. I've been playing so long. Okay. All right. All right. This is getting tough now. I don't think this is the opportune group, and I'm totally gonna get the infection. Ah! Okay. Where are you, piece of shit? Yeah, look at that, reflections. How many more times do I need to hit him? I don't want this on me. Alright. Okay, we're chasing him down here. He is getting tired, I guess. Oh, don't want to be near his front. Alright, I got it. At least I got the thing. Yeah, it's just ding, ding, ding. Um, the only good spots to hit him are by his legs and his underbelly. If you hit him anywhere else while he's in this mode without the drive stone, you're pretty much just going to reflect all day. I got to see if my drive stone's up. It's not, but I'm going to put brace on just for uh, defense till that one comes back up. Uh, where are you? Oh my god! I knew he was behind me too. Fuck me. I'm getting tromped around shit what a good heal and what a good dodge oh god okay thank you auto guard you saved my life oh god okay no not me again all right good let's take this mega potion that might have been a little overzealous but we're doing okay here nobody's gone down yet we're still in the fight that guy's oh my god <laughs> that was really fucking scary okay I don't think we're the optimal group here because uh, I've done this a lot easier. Ah. Uh, and this is tough right now. We are not having a great match so far, but nobody's died. One person has infection. I'm still reflecting until drive comes back, which it is up now. All right, let's get this drive on. Okay, where is he? He's over there. All right, trying to follow his movements here and not get infected again. Nice, nice, nice. See, now I'm not reflecting at all. Oh, and we've actually knocked him out of Apex, which was awesome. This is the chance we needed, guys. Trying to break him up. The music's getting hype. Let's go. Oh yeah, knock him down again. 
here we go. I'd like to do some fucking charge. Thank you. I don't give a fuck about no white stone. Where you at? Oh my god. Alright, he's going down again. Where is he going? He is going to probably jump towards them. Yep, not me. Alright, time to roll. Somebody laid down a trap, maybe? Or why are they pinging? Yep, shock trap in effect. Let's go! No, why? You are the most annoying teammates I've ever had. Just every time I try to open up for a combo, I'm always smacked by this dude. Always. Holy fuck, holy fuck. Uh. Okay. Did the jump just in case. Another trap down. And it's up here, pitfall trap. Oh my god! Okay. Please don't fucking hit me now. I want to hit the monster too. Let's go for the full on thing. Yes! Oh my god, midair kill too. Our light bowgun guy was pretty good, I will say that. So. If you survive through the torment of the Apex Diablos fight here in the arena, uh, what is really nice is that every single time you complete this quest, you get a Zenith Wyvern Gem, which is used to hone weapons, uh, which you can upgrade fully maxed out weapons and give them a lifesteal effect, a defense bonus effect, or a bonus to raw damage, which is awesome. And it's every time you complete this quest. I've got a Zenith uh, Wystone... Wyvern Gem every single time I've done this, which is really awesome. And then also not to mention is you get a 100% chance of getting one of the item you need to make this armor set, the Goddess something, I forgot what it's called, and then an additional 5% chance to get it again. So you can technically get it up to two times, well not technically, you can get it up to two times uh, per completion, so you might be able to get your armor set a lot faster if you get lucky. Because uh, I think you need 9 overall to make this. Not to mention some Rajang stuff and some Diablo stuff. Uh, you can check it out once you do this quest. It's free to download as all DLC are for Monster Hunter. And uh, let's double check it. The Goddess Embrace. That's what it's called. And I'm going to show you the gem. There you go. The Zenith Wyvern gem which is used for honing. So you get it every single time on this because it is an Apex fight and you get them off Apex sites. That's okay, I guess I'll keep that. Uh, I don't care about loading or poison. So, that's pretty much this DLC quest. It can be a pain, but if you got four people, you'll be alright with it, guys. It's not really that hard. It's one of the easier Apex fights, I think, but saying that still means that it still can be hard. Uh, he still hits like a truck, he'll still knock you over, but it's definitely doable and it's a lot of fun with a group. Uh, so I would highly recommend it. Not to mention, this armor set is fucking badass. So I'm Argon Alligator. I will see you guys next time, next Monday actually, for more Monster Hunter Mondays. And uh, have a good day, everybody. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Follow me at Twitter to get in contact with me or more updates. And join my Steam group to be part of the illustrious Swamp Society community. Thanks, everyone.